We got Otis Clay on the show with us this morning on Cool 101.7. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Very good, thank you. We're uh, looking forward to having you up in Duluth for the uh, annual Bayfront Blues Festival happening down at the Bayfront uh, by Lake Superior. Um, I the, the the thing is, is uh, I talk to a lot of people, and they either know everything about you or they know nothing about you. <laughs> I want to meet the one that knows everything about me. Yeah. Well, no, I, you know, I bump into the people that go, oh, yeah, Otis Clay, and they name off everything you've done. And then I, I talk to someone else, and they're like, is that the guy that used to play with the the, the, the band? And I was like, no. I just, yeah. So they always want to put, put me in what was the lampoon right. series thing? Yeah, <laughs> you know that oh, old man. that old Cheech and Chong act. Yeah, didn't we open at the <laughs> Fremont Film Festival? <laughs> yeah, man. I I I tell you, back in the eighties, I really had to deal with that a lot. <laughs> you know, and the thing about it, I didn't take advantage of it. I didn't never made any money off of it. Oh. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, but it was it was it's funny. It's funny. You, you live know. and learn, don't you? I've outlived it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so let's let's address the people that don't know Otis Clay. Tell us a little bit about where you're from. Well, um, I was born in Mississippi. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the metropolis, and I always say that because the joke is people always want to know about my hometown, and I say it was not. Uh, account, you know, I was born in the country, uh-huh. you know, uh, uh, at its peak, it was a one country store, <laughs> Waxhaw, at its peak, a place called Waxhaw, Mississippi. Okay. You know? And um, I guess something was there when it says Waxhaw, because I wanted to record it, <laughs> you know, uh, young as a 10 kid, uh-huh. you know, uh, the typical... Baby brother, I was always in show business. Let me ask you, what is it about Mississippi that brings most of the blues players out? It's the water. (laughs) 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 For the life of me, you know, uh, and everybody always talk about that. It's it's really one of those things, you know. uh, uh, For the life of me, I can't say what it is, but it's great. You know, yeah. and uh, I go there as much as possible nowadays. You know, it just kind of touch on things. It's a different like feeling that. when you go back now, isn't it? Well, I definitely there's an appreciation for it. Yeah, what was going on here? How did it happen? <laughs> uh, you saying you walk in the same road that Robert Johnson walked? Things change, but as old saying go, the more they remain the same. But yeah, yeah about 18 miles from where I was born mm-hmm. in Cleveland, Mississippi, they're building a Grammy museum. So it's happening in, yeah. those, in that area, you know, because tourists want to see it for themselves and things like that. So it, it, it's exciting. So let me ask you this, since you touched on Robert Johnson, uh, Crossroads of Mississippi, do you believe that whole legend and lore that you <laughs> sit on the corner and... Because I'll tell you, I used to live in Nashville, and and I play guitar a little bit, and I would always ask all the guitarists there, man, bring me to the corner because I have dinosaur fingers. I can't play guitar very well. I want to go there and play guitar. And they're like, nope, no, man, that's real. (laughs) It's real, huh? Yeah, that's what they all say. Man, that's real. Don't go there. Well, I tell you, if anybody's spoiled it, it won't be me. You know, so I'll let it it go on. You know, I mean, uh, I'm sure... It's an inspiration for a lot of people, you know, so yeah. I won't bother that. <laughs> <laughs> I just figure if you're going to sit on the corner and you're going to play for eight or ten hours, you're going to be a better guitar player no matter what. <laughs> you better believe practice. <laughs> hey, hey, hey I bet you better believe that. Yeah. yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> oh, funny. So now you're growing up in Mississippi, and, uh, and, and did you get into blues right away, and who was it that kind of introduced you to it? The balance in my life was always my mother, was uh-huh. the original church lady, ah. you know, and, and my father ran the juke joint. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got that balance, you know, uh, somewhere in the middle there yeah. is where I come in, you know, uh, <laughs> and that's the true story. You know, uh, I, I would hang out 
but I wouldn't say hang out, but, you know. Yeah, you were around and, it then. Yeah, yeah, you know, and then, of course, uh, there was a church side, you know. Uh, of course, we had to go to church on Sunday. You know, my father backed my mother on everything, you know. It was like, okay, you know, um, uh, you got to go to church. He's not going, but you got to go. You know, <laughs> your, your, your mama, hey, you better, I think you better go. <laughs> you know, uh, so it was, it was, it was that type of a thing. You know, it, it, it was, and, and that was typical for me. You know, and so I heard all this music. Uh, uh, I knew all the country because every Saturday night I would listen to the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, you know? yeah, and. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew all the country and western singers, you know, and I guess that's why and how Hank Williams became one of my Hank Williams singer yeah. became one of my favorite artists, you know. Well, now that uh, explains a lot after li- listening to your music. That explains a lot yeah. of the sound. Oh yeah, I was exposed. I was exposed to all kinds of music, although now I was not allowed to sing it. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, my mother didn't play that. You right. know, and she right. was the one that ran the house. You know, uh, again, my father back here on, well, I think he better go and do it, you know. Because uh, I thought I could get away with everything, you know. Yeah. And he would go along with me, but, like, in the end, he would say, yeah, but it was mom. go and do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? So it was like, if there was a whipping going down, you know, in, in a very low tone, it was, okay, well, that's enough. You let like the boy. And it was always like, what? What did you say? <laughs> uh, yes, you know, you know, but I'm letting go. You know? <laughs> that that reminds but, me of that old Eddie Murphy bit. That when he says, when I got beat by my dad's belt, he says, why don't you tell me why you <laughs> did that? And he says, I can't tell you <laughs> when you hit me. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was you know there there's some rounds to those stories you know there, there's some truth to it you know, uh, but that's kind of like the background uh, that I came out of you know see and that uh, and now that lays the perfect ground for when I'm listening to your music I can hear a lot of that I can hear yeah. the the influences and 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 the way that you grew up I can hear that in your music believe it or not well no. I would listen to Sonny Boy Williamson out of KFFA, out of uh, uh, Helena, Arkansas. Yeah. So that was, I had all this stuff that I listened to. Funny, it was the Cane Biscuit Flower Hour, but it was only 15 minutes that they were on there. <laughs> you know, that, was, that was quite an hour. These are the things that I was exposed to. There's a lot of friends of mine here in Chicago uh-huh. who had the, a big country and western scene. And these guys and I, we, you know, we record together. We do things. You right, know? right. Uh, because I'm familiar with it. Talking to Otis Clay this morning on Cool 101.7. Uh, Otis is going to be part of the 27th Annual Bayfront Blues Festival. We're looking forward to that. Now, uh, I, I only have a little bit of time left with you, so I want to ask you, who is it now maybe that you're listening to or that maybe influences you a little bit? Uh, what Sam Smith did to him last year, yes. or what have you, you know, and which is a great song. You know, I know about the past. I know the past, the history of the music, and that's when you can come with an artist that's going to come at you with a great song. Otis Clay, you're going to be playing, you're going to be headlining the Friday Line and Kugel stage, so that's going to be quite the party. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, we have a great time when we come into Duluth, been there a few times, uh-huh. not as much as you like, but, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it, it's always a great time with, and there's so much music up in that area. Is there any way you want to tell people to get in touch with you if they want to look at a website or are you on Facebook? Well, OtisClay.net, you know, uh-huh. I'm on Facebook, I'm everywhere. There we Twitter, go. You know, Instagram, <laughs> you can find me, you know. Well, thank you so much this morning. I appreciate your time. Otis Clay, we'll see him at the 27th Annual Bayfront Blues Festival. Thank you so much, and have a great day, sir. Great. Thank you so much.